This is called the Staff of Asclepius and the Caduceus. You probably didn't know the names, but you almost certainly have seen them before. They're associated with medicine and healthcare, and you'll find them in logos and flags of medical organizations, on the ambulance and hospitals, and lots of other places if you pay attention. Now you might find this a bit weird because snake is probably not the first thing that comes to mind when you think of doctors, and the story behind this came from Greek mythology. Apollo, son of Zeus, was dating a human princess, Coronis, who may got pregnant, but he later found out she cheated, so Apollo asked his sister Artemis to cure her. Before Coronis' body was about to be burned, Apollo cut open the tummy and rescued the baby, which he named Asclepius. Apollo gave Asclepius to smart centaur Chiron, who raised Asclepius and taught him the arts of healing and hunting. Asclepius grew up and turned out to be really smart, and eventually he became better at medicine than his mentor Chiron. Asclepius became really good at this, and eventually figured out how to bring dead people back to life. Now this wasn't well received by Zeus's brother Hades, king of the underworld, who ranted to Zeus about how Asclepius had been stealing his subjects, and persuaded Zeus to get rid of him. Luckily for Hades, Zeus thought Asclepius' medical skills was making him a bit too powerful for a human, and he didn't want Asclepius passing on the art of resurrection to other normal folks. And just like that, Asclepius is dead. It's a bit of a tragic story, but in ancient Greek society, Asclepius later became known as the god of healing and medicine, and people started a cult based around him, and is often represented by a staff and a serpent. Some believe that the snake was meant to represent the dual nature of drugs, useful if you know what you're doing, but used without caution and you risk harmful side effects, death for example. The same way snake venom is bad for you, but it's also known to have some medicinal properties. Snake shredding skin is also interpreted as a representation of healing and lasting youth. The staff by itself is just a pretty popular item in Greek mythology in general, but it's also interpreted as a walking stick used by doctors who travel to different places to treat people in rural areas. Some versions of the text also tell the story of how Asclepius was being nice to the snake, and in return the snake taught him the secret art of resurrection. Some time later, the snake and the staff was merged into one symbol. History is vague and nobody knows exactly how and why, but it did at some point and that's the staff of Asclepius as we know today, which is still very widely used today to represent medicine. Now this one with two snakes however is a bit different. If you live in the US, you might be more familiar with Digaducius. In mythology, this was a staff wielded by the Greek god Hermes, and is associated with trades and negotiation, and it has pretty much nothing to do with medicine at all, but sometime in the late 19th century, mostly due to documentation errors, people got the two symbols mixed up. Lots of confusion and no one really knows exactly what happens, but the next thing we know, the US Army adopted the Caduceus for use in the flag of the medical units, which most evidence agrees is incorrect. It's technically supposed to be the staff of Asclepius, with only one snake.